Welcome back to Bourbon Over Baseball with your host Bob Coast, Jeff Matt, and El Presidente Peter. What's up? Boop, boop. All right, we just got done uh, last time with the Orioles, and we're going to stick with the orange theme for a little longer. I know some people on Twitter want to see the Yankees, but I just don't want to <laughs> put the Yankees on this podcast anytime soon. Because I, I think I, we're going to have to do the Yankees soon. I'm just, uh, I, I mean, might have to be the. I'm not pro Yankees either, but um, <laughs> I feel like the, the, the crowd wants it. Yeah. <laughs> like, like we are Leonard Skinner, you yep. know, on our last show and everyone's chanting Freebird and yeah. we're not going to play Freebird. <laughs> you yeah. know? So that's what the equivalent is here. So not doing the Yankees today. We're going to stick with our orange theme and do the. When the Giants come to town, it's bye bye baby. Every time the chips are done. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, I think post-quarantine, when we have our first blind draft, your whole playlist should just be these songs. <laughs> oh, definitely. And, like, it's it's incredible because, like, someone, no doubt, heard that song on the radio or wherever, and, you know, on TV and just said, oh, hell yeah, let's go to a Giants game. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and, like, and I love it. Yes. Like, I I don't know if they were saying hell back in those yeah. times yet. <laughs> oh, gee, you're golly. Right. Sorry. <laughs> golly gee, I want to go to a Giants game. Let's go. <laughs> like, Oh man, it's great. So I first, love it. I want more of it. Yes. First up, we have Rich Arilla. Aurelia. Aurelia. Um, got on base seven here. Shortstop plus three for two thirty. He's got a little pop, but you know, I just feel a lot like of for, singles too. Yeah, but I feel like for two hundred some points, this is what we we're talking about earlier. With last time was like, give me an on base eight for two hundred. Right. You know, when I see a 200 point on base seven, it's like, man, it's a steep price for a seven. Yeah, and it's it's funny because I, I pulled the stats up because I was curious, and it's like we were two years too early. He won a silver slugger in 2001. With who? The Giants. Oh, with the Giants. Okay. Really? Like how? He had over 200 hits. Wow. 37 doubles, 37 home. I never knew Richard Aurelia could hit like it because I saw like seven on base, eight on base. And I'm like, oh, damn, 2001, he was after it. Yeah. Yeah, his, his 2001 card is also pretty, just like we're saying, underwhelming. Wait, so on the 01 team, did he bat behind Barry Bonds? Is that, or in front of Barry Bonds? Is that why he got so many fastballs? I don't know. That's interesting. <laughs> he, ha- he had to have. Like, no, but where did, no Jeff, other... where did Jeff Kent bat? <laughs> I think Kent was, was – Kent might have been too. Was he fat? No, he might have been four because I don't think he was very fast. They may have put Kent behind him to try and per- get Bonds' pitches. Uh, right, when Bonds when was getting Peter jumps back then... on, he can tell us because Peter would know that. Uh, uh, Peter, do you know? Was that the 2002 season? Well, I'll just say in general, where did Kent bat in the lineup? Season? 2001 season was the year that. Mm. I'm looking. I'm looking up the 01 Giants right now. Um. Oh wow! Yeah, Aurelia was uh, Bernard first. Aurelia second. Bonds third. Kent fourth. Yeah. Um, so, so Aurelia was just getting fastballs. <laughs> you're right. He he batted second almost the entire season. Yeah, that like, makes I'm, sense. We have to get him out. We can't face Bonds <laughs> with a runner on base. Yeah, because he's already got seventy six home runs. Yeah. All right. Next up, we got Marvin uh-huh. Menard. I love this guy. Oh, yeah. I, I've drafted this card plenty of times. A, he looks fucking badass. <laughs> yeah, he looks this, super wow. cool. He looks like Cyclops. I mean, he looks like a badass. He looks this strong. A monster well. chart, dude, yeah. for 340. I don't love the defense, but. Well, you yeah. you're. It. But, yeah, you got eight. You got A speed. Yeah. 14. You're single plusing here. I, I've always. I I wouldn't say I always pick this card, but I have picked him in the past. Um, I don't know if I'm picking it on looks, but it was a pretty solid card. <laughs> Why does his back get cut off at the lo- at the logo? <laughs> oh, it was man. just a bad bad cut out. I've done yeah, that. Yeah, no, that, that's the photo they had. They're like, we can't really extend it. The the picture the, has to fit between this and this. Right. The difference here, Matt, is they were paid to do it. <laughs> yeah. Like we do it, enough. you can do it in your spare time, and you're better than them there. Wait, you guys get paid to do this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm wiping the sweat off my yeah. just my forehead right now. <laughs> the photo was done by All Sport, and they did a terrible job. <laughs> yeah, the photo might have been good, but the yeah, I don't know what happened on the. Well, uh, I the... think the photo was a photo that at the top of the image it was the end of the bat. I've seen these pictures when I looked at stuff too, and you have to either decide to pull the picture bigger to get the bat to the top of the card yep. and shift the player, or 
get a different image because this he, one doesn't yeah. really fit. He would have um, broken the perspective. Of and the that's what's thing. nice about 2001 cards because you know, when you zoom in on this kind of guy, yeah. you can start to do fun, do better things with that kind of card. Yeah, I totally agree. They they clearly, to, Bob, to your point, they got this card or they got this image. Yeah. Said, man, he looks fucking badass. Well, you got to use it. And we're mm-hmm. not. Yeah, we. Yeah, he, there's no bad at the top, but you know what? We're gonna use it. <laughs> yeah. Like they just said, we're just gonna fade it into the Giants logo in the back and make. No it one notice. <laughs> yeah. Plus, they can just cut it out. You know, if there's no spaces in it where they have to then go in and delete stuff later, like yep. it's just one cutout and you're done. But the thing that stands out to me, imagine being this ripped and choking up on the bat like that. <laughs> it could have been two strikes. We don't know. I don't or care. steroids. If I had guns like that and quads like that, I would <laughs> never be choking up. Hey, Jeff, look at his left elbow, too. Let me see. Left elbow. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Great I think catch. I may have done this cutout. Wow. <laughs> yeah. See, Matt, you got hired. How old were you? Like eight? You know, like you came on site to Wizards of the Coast yeah. and, and did this cutout. This was the, like your first one. The cutout um, quality is on par with like three years ago of my cutouts. Dude, yeah. holy it's shit. Like the 97 Orioles. Yeah. His, his back elbow is hitting the umpire's helmet at this exact moment. Like, what a crazy. <laughs> Dude, and like, oh, I love it. I love it. it Great. Maybe this was like a Getty images, and they tried to cut around the Getty image box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> like the, the the watermarks right there. <laughs> it's like it's funny. We are starting this with man, what a badass picture. And at the end of this, we're like, what the fuck happened here? <laughs> like, what? Who did who did QA? Like, no one did. Yeah, no, <laughs> there's absolutely no Q and A in this. They were like, we gotta get out the door quick. <laughs> right, just get him out the door. Yeah. Oh man. But anyway, yeah, cool card. Damn. So next up, obviously, Monster Barry Bonds. Um, I, I would have, I would have liked to see a better pose out of Barry Bonds, especially for being a, a total stud here. Yeah, dude. Um, so we were, we were talking obviously last podcast about Brady Anderson being the nine fifteen home run. So here we got the the nine sixteen home run plus one fielding a speed Barry Bonds, who he he wrecks it, but um, big walk range. Obviously, it's Barry Bonds. Just sucks he's the nine on base. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he does. I mean, he, he gets, gets drafted. I'm sure he, he gets drafted. And he but they does fine, they but want I, the I one just, from the they want the one from two thousand one. That's the ten. Yeah. Is that Peter oh, made? yeah. And yeah. He's like no. six fifty or something. Or, oh, the two thousand one set. Yeah. Cool. yeah. If we don't, uh, yeah. If, if you have Matt. Do you have the two thousand one? Like when you make, when you made not the two thousand one. Sorry, it's Peters. Yeah, it's the, from the two thousand one season. Yeah, we should Bring. put that. We should put like that's the card that infamously broke this sh- this game. Right. Yeah. Broke. Peter has a huge article about it. Yeah, yeah, we Peter, need to do add you wanna, the... Do you want to really recap what happened there? Yeah, so, I mean, Barry Bonds' stats were so ridiculous in 2001. Um, obviously, the 73 home runs, but then the 515 on base percentage that you have to break the on base 11 scale. And yep. they ended up just sort of redoing everything. Um, and it, it was cool. I, I did a, a big breakdown. If you go on the blog, I don't know if we can link it. I YouTube absolutely can. For this or not, but uh, I'll put it in there. Yeah, he uh, he broke showdown. They had to redo the whole card system. I think uh, someone in the Discord the other day tried to like, do it by 2001 standards, and it was still like an on base 12 or 13 that they had yeah. to go to. But um, the the way I did it. For the 73 homer season, on base 11, walk at two, homer at 15, and uh, it's uh, it's really insane that even with that, his uh, his on base percentage, uh, his expected home run amount falls short. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's like I, I've like thought like a ton about that whole scenario, and like because I, I just don't like there had to have been one person in that room when this shit was happening. Right. They're like, this is changing our game. Right. Yeah. But like, yeah. why didn't one person say like, no, fuck it. Like we can have an on base 12 or an on base 13. Yeah. He's just going to be 1300 points. Like, I just like, like <laughs> well, that, I, I show, wonder, have that break the game. Like, I, I, I just don't. What, I wonder if what happened was <clears throat> in 2000. So this is based on 99 stats. They didn't have any on base 11. So like a nice, even 10 number was the max. And then when 2001 came out, they had. Carlos Delgado and Giambi that went yeah, outrageous with on base. So they're like, okay, this will be kind of cool because we'll just go with the 11s. And then the next year, Bonds does it, and they're like, fuck, what's what's happening? We might need to rethink our whole system. 
Yeah, it sounds yeah. like they they must have prepped themselves for it, like waiting for like something like that to happen, like maybe hoping it didn't. Because like I know that like I don't know if I was into other things, but I fell out of the game, and I can tell you as an adult right now, like I have, um, I personally have zero interest in the O two to O five years. Yep, just same. you know, maybe it's kind of pulling on my nostalgia strings that I just love these cards and this is what I had, but. I don't even, I, I honestly hardly acknowledge they exist, like in my yeah. view of Showdown. And not throwing shade, that's just like, just, that's just, this is what I know, right? Um, yeah. So that card that Peter made was like 900 and what, like 40 six, points. I just remember points. Jeff got him at a blind draft and wrecked everyone. <laughs> that was the same draft I had the Brady Anderson game <laughs> off. <laughs> the 96. Oh. It was ridiculous. It was my first three. I don't, I wish I knew who my second batter was, but it was. It was bonkers, and yeah, he hit he hit two home runs in back to back games. So he almost hit th- three, I think, in both. <laughs> you of them. sure it was, was that one? I thought you had the one that um, Jeff j- or Matt just put up online because that one was that I didn't have it in uh, the nineties draft. It may have been, not been the nineties blind draft, but it was one of the blind drafts we did. I remember. Oh, I'm sure he had it. Bonds. My 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 one him. buddy drafted him, and um, he, he might have struck out on his own chart four or five times in the season. It was kind of comical because he only had a one strikeout. Oh, um, my God. But he, that was the reason we implemented the intentional walk rule because everyone just, as they yeah. should, intentionally walked him. No one wanted to face Bonds because it was yeah. fucking stupid to play him. Um, Can we talk about something real quick? Yeah. In 2004, he had 232 walks. Yeah. What? And 120 of them were intentional. Well, that that's the oh craziest thing. God. The intentional. And he still hit 45 home runs. And he still hit 45 home runs. Yeah, like, he would just sit there. If you're gonna throw it, I'm gonna I'm just gonna tee it off. <laughs> with a 609 on base percent. Like, I mean, his shit. OPS was better in 2004 than it was in 2001 or 2002. Yeah. I mean, yep. his 2002 OPS was better than his 73 home run season. It's crazy. Just ridiculous. And obviously. This one is probably the, the like the worst version of the Barry Bonds, which is yeah. funny to say. He only played yeah. like 430 yeah. plate appearances that year. He got hurt. So he gets picked up. Um, it's not the card that a lot of people go for. It's very expensive, but you get a 9 A speed with plus fielding, which hits the ball pretty damn well. So he does see a lot of pickup. Um, I love this card. I would I'd probably draft the, the, the 2001 version if I had the choice, but yep. if you're just yep. doing 2000, this card's going to get picked up for sure. Yep. Yeah. Next up, Ellis Burks, another monster. I love Ellis Burks ever since the days of Colorado. This card's a pretty fucking good card. If you're talking about now one less home run, um, you know, for 120 less points, but you but you don't get the A speed, which sucks, and the fielding, and he's obviously more outs, yeah. um, or not more outs, uh, but like less on the double charts and everything. Um, right, right. Just, and something you don't know that's not on his card is I went to high school with his daughter when he oh. came to the Indians. I know. So, <laughs> She's so still anyway. Single? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I haven't kept up with her, so I you never need to did. stay in touch with so. these people. <laughs> right, I should. What Facebook no. is for. <laughs> right, I, that'd be my. That's my whole connection to like the whole. You know, being able to mail a card to someone and get it signed and send it back to you. You know, that could yeah, have been exactly. my, my first way to do that. Uh, Ellis Burks is a monster in the '90s, and obviously he's still a monster here in the 2000s. Um, I mean, Peter, it's a good card. You, you, you wish you had a little more on the back end of this card but a nine's pretty good i i i almost wish he was a little less points um but you're you're, you're pretty happy with this card yeah. yeah i mean he he hit 31 homers and only 469 plate appearances mm. so he arguably could have been at a range of bonds yeah holy He's shit that's matching insane. yeah they could have had two on base nine homers 16 guys yeah that's oh a pretty stellar God. team <laughs> Next up, Alan Embry yes. always gets drafted all <laughs> so the good. time. Um, this is the perfect guy. If you are love relievers, the control six, no doubles for 170 points somehow, this is the guy you want. This is a 200-point type of player. Uh, super good steal for every single team. He, I've never seen him not drafted in a league. <laughs> I pr- I'm pretty sure the, the team that I inherited um, from, from James Vecchio, who was Butch Huskies, I had Wayne Embry... Wayne Embry. Nika- uh, sorry, at Wayne Embry. Oh my God, Ellen Embry, <laughs> uh, CJ Nikowski, and my dude Doug Brocale. And yep. like that was like looking back, like that was the squad. Like that was just like the well, his team was his team was squad. draft power, low control, big bullpen value. And his idea was I'm gonna roll better than I'm I'm not, and I'm gonna try to just beat the shit out of the other player. <laughs> 
But Alan Embry always drafted. Great card. Always gets picked up. I mean, they have a really good relief uh, with the one-two punch here. Because <laughs> their um, starters are just trash. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of, we got Sean uh, Este Estes. Estes? Estes? This is probably... Estes? Estes? You know, Matt, I realized that I said Wayne Embry. I've got, uh, watching the Jordan doc, I've got the Cavs on my mind right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I just realized that uh, for a second I was like, Wayne Embry? I know who Wayne Embry is. Yeah. And I had to look it up and I was like, <laughs> dude, oh my gosh. So, so he anyway. was our GM, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. He was our GM, like, I think during that era. So, yeah. which is, anyway. So for Jackson. 20 less points, you can get uh, a zero control, <laughs> uh, one through 18 out with no doubles. Innings uh, eater. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this one is the starter. Um, <laughs> I just, it's, phew, it's rough. Oh. Um, not a good card here. You obviously, don't. I don't want any zero, but this is an interesting one that you get the one through 18 out with no doubles. Um, but it just seems like a lot of points. I'd rather still like Brian Bohannon or Daryl Kyle. <laughs> Next up, the man, the myth, the yes. legend. Rocks, rock hands, man. John Johnson gets picked up every draft all the time. Another par- person, in my opinion, way more wor- valuable than Alan Embry for the same points is John Johnson, one through 16 out with a control six. He does get the double. But that I'm telling you that one through sixteen out with a six is just lights out. <laughs> you do you pick so if you didn't I pick know them all points, the time. I mean they're the same points. You would pick Johnstone every time. Every time, and I ha- I usually pick Johnstone as one of my early picks almost every time in the draft. Dude, I think I'd pick Embry. Like I, I just like the no double in like that extra walk. Like and, and he Embry does the I want, 18, 19 single. Like, I want the extra out. I want the out. Yeah, give me the extra tier. Yeah, the extra out is worth way more. Yeah, it's so it's so extreme. I mean, I've seen it so many times that, you know, so now if he's rolling again, if he rolls a twenty, boom, yeah, you're right, he's getting a double here. But I I've seen more outs than I have that extra double. Again, it's actually still five percent of the time, but it's great. I mean, I again, I pick him early all the time. I try, I usually try to get one. I usually try to get three great relievers, and John Johnson's always on my list if I'm drafting OO. Dude, what usually happens is like in our drafts when whenever like that, I love like keeping an eye for that point in which like the reliever like you know dump starts happening like where one person starts it by picking john johnson and then it's a waterfall and then everybody starts picking relievers at that exact moment it's 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 like a hilariously awesome social experiment to see that happen yep it's like if you've ever done fantasy football people you know when the kickers or defense goes people all of a sudden go oh shit are are they gonna go like do i need to slide in here um, it happens in thing. obviously fantasy baseball too. If you're doing some kind of closer save league, once someone grabs the closer, everyone starts grabbing closers. Um, but interesting here, looks like he's got some dip in his back pocket. <laughs> oh damn! Yeah, he's ready. Oh to go. heck yeah! Look at that. He's ready Good to go. Edge. Next up, Jeff Kent. So yeah. disappointing. Obviously, this card versus his obviously 2001 cards is fucking stud of a card, but pretty solid eight here. Um, you know, we talked about earlier with Marvin Menard, you know, but he's got the A speed. Pretty good chart here with the with the fourteen double and an eight for three forty. Yeah. You know, I I draft him for sure, for sure. Like if I was at that point, I don't know if I would be. What did you do that year, Matt? Forty dubs. Yeah, what was that dubs. sorry? Forty doubles. 40 doubles. Twenty three homers. Okay. Wow. I like it. I, I mean, I, I mean. Four double range is huge for a car. We were talking about obviously yeah. Cal Ripken uh, having that for three fifty with as like basically a, a third base plus two. And this is a pretty solid car too, and I get the extra speed. So I kind of I kind of like this card as well. It all we goes back to the... bonds too, because like when you start to look at you know as I'm pulling up these stat sheets, how we said Aurelia, like Kent starts taking off when Bond starts taking off too, because yep. it's like they have to pitch to these guys. Oh yeah. Have we talked about the logo for the Giants on these cards? What about it? I really like it. It's very, yeah. it's very old school, the and old. I, I guess they changed it to the the one we see today with the more like spaced out uh, Giants with more orange involved mm. in the like baseball. But I, I don't know. There's something just so like cartoonish and late '80s to me about this logo that just seems classic baseball Americana to me. And yeah. I, I just really like how uh, like bland it is. Mm-hmm. I, I know that's a weird thing to be okay with, but it just, it, I don't know. It, it just no, feels it's just a cl- like apple pie. It's a classic. No, I mean, there's like a lot of like 
they were just coming out of an era of logos that were very, very odd in that, like, and I'm, believe me, I'm all for it. 90s logos generally are just fantastic. Yeah. But no, like, I think it, like, some of, some of the teams in baseball embraced that. Some of them didn't. And, like, I think, like, keeping that consistency, like, here with the Giants is great. And, like, and we've always said this, like, any, just in showdown world, like, any team that doesn't have red or blue is just, like, just instantly looks better to me. And I, it's funny, the reason we did, the, uh, the reason we picked the Giants for tonight and, you know, the Orioles that you probably just listened to is because they're orange. And, like, I feel like they just pop off to me and, like, I see them just way better and, like, the even the foils just look just just gnarly. So yeah, I mean the whole package here is, works for the colors and everything. Next up, Brett Maine. Um, he gets picked up here and there just because the on base nine for two fifty, uh, but no no triple no double here or sorry no homer. Just about your average arm. It's it's okay. I mean right. he's gonna get picked up probably uh, it, it, if you if you want to high on base, but. Is he falls in that weird middle category of catchers because usually people punt catcher and get fielding, or they go, you know, you know, Jason Kendall. So yeah, it looks like he's a cop in this in his spare time. <laughs> does look like a cop. Have you seen this kid? <laughs> yeah, he looks Dude, like he it. super does. He looks like he just got found out in this picture. <laughs> yeah, like oh like my god, that guy just pulled me over and now he just threw me out stealing. Yeah, yeah wow, like. That's it's a awesome. good thing. Eh? He does look like that. I like it. Dude, whatever those, I don't think we've seen those. That must be spring training, but look at that damn jersey he's wearing. I was going to say that black is sweet. Oh, yeah. and look at the sleeves with the the two board. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. It's great. That's great. Especially with the, the, the catcher's gear on too. With oh, that yeah. board. Like it just, it all matches so well. And it's oh, the yeah. exact same color orange on the catcher gear. Yeah. The That's amazing. Yeah. Right. It's, I think I can. I'm pretty sure he has a breathalyzer in his catcher's mitt. Right <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. He's, he's going the, to... the hair gel to go. Right. Oh yeah, he's, he's styling. Dude, you're right. That, I'm kind of attracted to his hair right now. Just nothing else, but his hair just looks incredible. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. I, I can't believe we wore sunglasses like this all the time. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is like our whole thing again that like you know did the players know these cards existed and like look at them and be like fuck yeah this is one of those this is definitely oh, a yeah. fuck yeah card oh you know, he has really this awesome. like blown up oh yeah i was killing it in 2000 showdown <laughs> like oh, do you think cool. like i don't know if he has a daughter but if i were his daughter i would look at this and be like god my dad looks kind of hot on this and i'm not <laughs> supposed to feel that way <laughs> like this is weird <laughs> like wrong so, podcast anyway. jeff yeah, shit. Oh, sorry. Whoa. I, I get really off subject quickly. I am definitely not searching for shirtless pictures of Brett Main so, right now. Because I, I totally am. Next. Oh, you should look up Marvin Bernard first then. Um, next up, we got Bill Mueller. He gets picked up a lot this just because. my this, guy. Yeah. He's wow. a solid um, nine on base plus three. So you're filling up your position at the corner um, for only 220 points. You just, you're, you're, pushing him in there in the lineup you're not expecting him to uh, do anything but get on base um you know get on first but you're locking up third base you get a nine stud <laughs> wow yeah this is a what those these two cards back to back is it's is kind of bizarre to me um no he's great i mean i like for 220 like you're saying he's he's fitting that spot perfectly you pick um, this guy up a lot matt i used him a lot in my leagues back then just because like he was cheap points and i loves high on base like mm-hmm. and then i would for 220 it's like he gets a lot on base to hit later and i always like i said i went with griffey a lot so i needed to cut points somewhere yeah did uh do he jt snow and brett main all have like the same type of sunglasses like did <laughs> maybe all flip up like this <laughs> <laughs> like is this is this uh it's like did the Giants have like a deal with Oakley or something? That and or? They, had a, they definitely had a sunglass is. distributor, but like only for like 90 styles. You know? doesn't, also, doesn't yeah, stick. what's with him wearing eye black yeah. and sunglasses? Yeah. <laughs> I'm what a try hard. You gotta get it both. Like, Did their whole team wear eye black? No, like, I, 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 well, I, I can't Ar- tell. Because Aurelia has the flip up sunglasses too. So, and JT. JT. And Bernard. JT, Bernard JT, JT, was, Bernard JT was always Alex wore Kirk. the eye black, though. I think Bonds is the only guy that didn't wear eye black. Sent it. And Jeff Kent. And F, FP's rocking the eye black. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. It, must, it, just must, it has to be playing in that stadium, though. And they're yeah. probably like, dude, put this on. It'll be so much better. 
and then nobody questioned it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I, I, maybe it was like a team bonding thing. Yeah. And then and that's why you Barry know, didn't do it. And, yeah, not a, a yeah. team bond. But thing. Barry, yeah. Barry and Jeff Kent did because they're like, we are the foils next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we're above this. Well, yeah, I was looking. I was actually thinking how how shitty they cut out Marvin Bernard and like this one. They're like, let's cut out the ball too. <laughs> like they did extra good work with this one and they right. should leave. <laughs> Dude, and who else was I looking at that uh like John Johnstone, his uh you don't have to go back, but like his foot is underneath like the text of his name and it's like coming out on the other side. I'm like, dude, like they someone like maybe that wasn't that hard. Like I know in Photoshop today that's not that hard, but like I don't know what it was like back then. And like this, yeah, this Muller card, like Dude, like the ball looks badass. And he's like oh, yeah. in the in the motion. Like good for them. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, Rob Nen. Um, another guy, no doubles here for thirty less points than Alan Embry. You can get a three um, for ones you're sixteen out. Well, is yeah, this closer a closer bonus. bonus though? Nah. Like, oh yeah. Yeah, because well, Jesse is, Orozco he's... was one ten. Yeah. He was one ten, but he gave up a double. Uh, and he he, I mean, he had seventeen, eighteen walk, nineteen single, twenty double. I mean, yeah, no, there's slight, you're right. There's slight closer. It's like maybe like 20 points. Like he should probably be 120 for a reliever. Yeah, yeah. like 110, 120. Yeah, but. Um, and, no, for having, a... and for having two Bs in his name, he doesn't really give up any walks. <laughs> Dude. 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 Also, shout out to all the Hunter Hunter fans out there for, for Ben. Oh, oh you got God. it, Bob. There you go. Um, but again, you're, you're not, okay. you're probably not picking this card. Um, Ever. I don't think I've ever seen this card drafted. Yeah, yeah that's crazy because he's not that bad. I, you just don't want to... There's so many good closers out there. Right, and and right. if you're going to get a three control, you're getting like Armando Benitez, uh, Matt Manti, all those kind of guys. Right. I just want to set a reference point. Like, we're saying this guy is like not good enough to get drafted. But like, in, I'm just saying it like I know we're talking a 20-year difference. But in our 2019 set, like, you know, in your guys' 2019 set, like... If there was one guy like this, he's getting picked. Like one, he's like one well, of the first round of the it's, so, it's so shallow. There's like yeah. no good relievers. Dude, oh my gosh, it's like it's like our my reference point is all fucked up right now <laughs> in terms of relievers. I'm too zoned into like this be this guy not being that good. You know? Yeah. I think I, if they were bad, they still just gave them a good card. Right. It's it's super confusing. Like the worst cards we've seen have been like 90, and they're not great, but they're not horrific. You know, I want to see how rip a totally horrific like <laughs> reliever in the set and it like hasn't happened yet well we'll get to the rockies but <laughs> that, that, that's our whole pitching is, staff <laughs> and looking at rob den go from the 398 era and almost a 1.5 whip to that uh amazing pedro like 330 point card in the 01 set we had the 1.5 era and like a sub 0.85 whip doesn't he get the foil dude yeah oh, yeah. yeah he got the yeah. foil Dude is an enhancer. Yeah. Because he, he really stepped it up a notch. Good for him. Next up, Russ Ortiz. Another amazing starter for the, for yeah. the Giants here. We got another zero that, again, this one doesn't give him any singles. Ooh. So you got Ooh. extra here. Um, but another, Whoa. just so we had earlier with the, um, was it Sean? We have this guy now as a zero as well. But this one doesn't get the single, so a couple more points here. But geez, why would I send one seventy on a zero? I just yeah, don't don't talk yourself into this one. Folks. Yeah, this yeah. is not no, you, you don't you don't want a zero for this expensive of uh, points. Players um, ninety nine Giants is rough if you get past like the second starter. Yeah, Kirk uh, Ruder here. Um, he he's actually okay. This is again we talked about earlier. Standard four one through fifteen out is around your yep. three twenty three thirty range. This is your guy. You know. If, yeah. if you need them. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Nothing too fancy there. Uh, I actually like this next card. FP Santiago. Santi. San, Santi Santangelo? San, Santa. San Diego. Santigello? Well, where in the world? <laughs> where in the world? Right. Let's <laughs> we'll just go with that. <laughs> um, I love this card. This was this was the guy I used to draft all the time. Back in the day, uh, as my leadoff hitter, because I was like, I'll take a, I'll take a ten A speed guy who gives me plus fielding, and doesn't hit a home run. Yeah, he's um, so, he's badass. Seeing now though, like some of these other guys, I don't, I just don't know. I, for three fifty, seems like a little bit too pricey. That point to pay for this, but for 10, um, though, like a ten that is fast. The one to five out is the worst part of this. Well, that but I I think the the um, 
the A speed is what helps. You're, you're talking about a 10 A speed guy, but like, what was Ricky? Like 400? What was Ricky? 450, I think. 450, but he had a home run. I think he had two. Yeah, so like, it just yeah. sucks. Like, you're not getting anything past, like, to you're running 6 through 17 on first base. So you're only using this guy for for basically get on first and hopefully still second, which is yeah, fine. Yeah, he's your leadoff hitter. Yeah. No question, he's your leadoff, which is I nice used to, to play have. this card because I didn't have any 10s when I was a kid growing up. And this guy was awesome for me, but it's whatever. But it, this this team looks pretty cool with him on there. <laughs> yeah, and it's I mean he's sixty points less than Omar Vizquel. It's not but, like he's going to give you that much less production. But Omar's got the plus five. I think that's what the big difference yeah, is. Yeah, but you know, hitting wise, as yeah, a leadoff correct. Guy. And if like me, you know that infield defense doesn't really mean that much. <laughs> totally. Exactly. Well, and, and yeah. like you said, would you rather have him or him for? Uh, how much is Omar four ten? Yeah. So for three fifty, you're right. Well, who's going to be leading off for you? All you're looking for is a guy to get on base and score runs. They're all the same speed and in two thousand, this twenty speed guy, and he's not actually killing you in the outfield. He can play center field if you needed him to. Right. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm into this. Yeah, I mean Omar Vizquel is one more single plus, and they both walk at six. I mean he's got more singles, but if he's a leadoff guy, it doesn't matter if he's. Yeah, walking. So you're just yeah, you're just trying to get on first base and hope the rest of your team's knocking him in. And if you could save sixty points, you know, get a guy like this and and like you said, maybe um, you know, find a cheaper guy to like get like a Mike Bordick from the last podcast, you know, to try yeah. to, to try to grab some defense if you needed to. And then you'll have you know that sixty extra points can be the difference between a Brady Anderson or a uh, Roberto Alma. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a really good point. Yeah, because if you had this guy playing in the outfield instead of a Brady, yeah, you could now get Roberto Alomar, who's a plus five, right? Yeah, plus three. Plus three. Okay. Oh, what's um, what's uh, oh my God, what's his name for the um, Rockies? Oh, Shumpert. Shumpert. I think, I think he's, he's also plus three. Okay. So, but, but, but you're getting the, the power. You're getting the power yeah. from it. You're getting a much better hitter. Yes. I, and you're not you're not getting hurt by going from Omar to this, yeah. And you're upgrading from like a Brady to a, a Shumpert or a Roberto Alomar, which is a yeah. huge upgrade. Um, or I mean, uh, isn't Bonds five sixty? Bonds yeah. is five sixty. Like that, it's you know the difference between Brady Anderson or Barry Bonds. Yep. All right. Next up, we got Mister uh, Eyeshadow J T Snow, Gold Glove winner that year. Nice. Wow, and didn't uh, didn't even get a plus one. That's a little disrespectful. Well, I mean, neither did Rafael Palmero. <laughs> right, yeah. But Rafael Palmero, though, like, that one didn't make any sense, right? I well, <laughs> stand by that he earned that plus one. His 246 <laughs> innings at first were incredible. <laughs> yeah, just, just mind-blowingly good. His fielding rate was only subpar, guys. Right? <laughs> Yeah, for um, two sixty though, I'm not. I mean, it's, it's, not it's nothing bad. to write home about. It's not bad. It's, it's, it's not a, bad. It's, a first, it's like so standard first baseman card to me. Honestly. Yeah, I, I just like guess saw... what his on base percentage was. Uh, let me think. Here, be like three forty something. Three seventy. Oh, so he's close to the nine. Yeah. <laughs> That's screwed. Is he yeah. the next Vlad? Yeah, yeah, the Vlad treatment. Nothing is as bad as Vlad and. Well, yeah. Thinking. So, um, yeah, JT Snow, good card, not a great card. I, I would rather pay 200 points for this kind of player. I don't like him for 60, 260, so not the best. Nice. Yeah. Um, next up, Bobby Estalala. Hey. Estalala. Probably just skip him. <laughs> so, not good. No one's drafting him. You're already spending no points to get him, um, and you're not even getting an arm. Can and we you're... talk about how the background changed? Oh, for the pennant run. You're totally right. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's so ugly. So they you have the whole new, they have the whole logo? logo around it now. Where it's a San does it say San yeah, Francisco? They, got, they added the text in You're baseball right. club, either. and yeah. it's all lighter. Oh, it's really strange. It's terrible. <laughs> it is like somebody else brought it up. How there was a, uh, um, I don't know where this was, but some of the printing like by card changes. Oh, yeah. it, like the, it, yep. it's it's yeah. Yeah, and that had like I mean, you can kind of just see that happening even a little bit here. It's just like it's a little. I mean, I think this is like they actually different. designed it this way. Yeah, it's yeah. like a different. It's a. It seems like the the base set 
you know color is like a bold orange you know yeah, it will just all clean, of the damn and all brown. the extra yeah. all the extra letters just muddle it up here <laughs> yep so next up we have Livin hernandez actually a pretty solid card i've actually drafted this a handful of times um i like this card because um again a, th a standard three control one through 15 out six ip guys like 330 um yeah. so like a four that's a, a seven or sorry yeah, a 16 out so this is the same tier but a seven inning pitcher um for 40 more points um this is the kind of guy i've looked at when i've had to replace brad radke um and, and save points i didn't want to do it but i've had to <laughs> yeah he's gotten a lot of use in our in our leagues yep. i've always seen him around i mean he, I, I i mean i guess for the extra 30 points like getting that that any that I, extra ip it's is whatever, good yeah. but it's i whatever. prefer them over any three control guy but i mean it's it's kind of crazy how he's uh 30 less points than scott erickson yeah like yeah. it's just based on ground ball range yeah yeah i think they got more points for ground balls yeah a you lot can do more. more damage yeah and uh, next up, we have Doug Maravelli. Um, and it looks like, yeah, so this this one's actually not bad here when you're talking about a, um, a seven uh, on base guy who can, uh, who has a, the plus eight arm, um, which is great. I mean, a lot of times you, what you're trying to do here is you're trying to find that maybe middle range um, where you can... Um, jump in the middle where you like don't want to go too low or too high with the uh, points and for 210 here for a seven but you're getting the plus arm it's not too bad i, I like the pose <laughs> jeff he's really getting into it <laughs> um you know i'm still kind of a little surprised that that who was the one card that looked uh the one catcher we were talking about oh main oh right back undercover cop i forgot that yeah. he's the only one who got that badass jersey and it's covered up by a catcher's thing yeah like pissing me off but anyway no he uh mirabella is uh no this is um it's all right i mean it's not great but like for 210 here it, it, does he get drafted i don't i, also I don't, don't No, and, and the reason is because he falls in the middle it's again the same thing we talked right. about earlier he's got the arm in this case which people might look at but why would you spend this when you can go to like Alberto Castillo or somebody like that? Like right, we just don't unless we did like, you know, NL only, you know, that kind of thing, which I think would be a lot of fun to do for like a twelve team draft. Like, I kind of I like really think for... that'd be a pretty fun league if we just picked one division and said, okay, we got our standard guys and we're just gonna do one and cut the league in half. It'd be a very right. tight league. It sure made mine tough this year. Yeah, oh my God, dude. Yeah. yeah, awesome and brutal. Yep. I've never seen this card before. The, the next one, Joe Nathan, or or <laughs> no, no, the oh, the Marabella. Marabella. I don't. Yeah, maybe maybe uh, Matt just you know printed this maybe. himself and and took a picture of it. <laughs> yeah. Next up is Joe Nathan. Um, before he became a stud. Yeah, I guess. Um, I I guess he's really upset here because he's about to give a home run to someone. <laughs> um, he just man. So, but what's interesting here is. What's interesting here is for a few more points than that zero, you can get a three control guy. But yeah, like I feel like I'd, I'd take the risk on this guy over the zero. I, well, I, yeah, you don't want I anybody he, on this this starting team. I think he was my number four starter in my league back in the day. <laughs> wow, dude. Maybe, so, maybe we didn't understand how bad that homer would be. In a so weird, did he yeah. then go right to relieving after this? I don't know. Uh, you know in a second because i'm like 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 because he gave up a lot of home he had to give up enough home runs to to warrant the home run on his chart but right. it's pennant run so they could have made it up it's true it's true it no rules amazing how uh how guys just go from being really shitty starters to being awesome He's, really he started players. in 2000 as well and then switched to the bullpen oh, okay so 2003 he was back in the majors as a reliever and he was fourth in cy young in 2004 <laughs> Yeah, so he probably had the stuff, but they couldn't prolong. I mean, he only it was an IP five here, so they probably didn't think he could go very long. Yeah, he had ninety innings. Yeah, and like point seven home runs per nine. <laughs> in a yeah. in other weird thing, I'm trying to find it, see if I can. Uh, so I've been doing a. I just finished my inventory of all the cards I have, like tracking each one individually, all that noise, and I found one that had. Um, I don't really pay attention to promos and all that, like. 
but if I have them, I guess I look at them. And um, and I was paying attention to the first edition and all that, even though I don't think it matters. I don't know. Again, first edition unlimited. They're all limited. Like what is that stupid? But his, I found in my inventory had a little wizard's logo at the bottom. Oh yeah, left. I saw you post something about that. Right, which made I'm trying to find it to see if somebody. Uh, I, I did a Facebook post on the. Uh, yeah, it was one of those ones from the magazines. They're like really rare. Yeah, so like, I mean, not like, I mean, I think relatively rare. We're talking about like a few bucks, but like, um, yeah, no. So apparently Top Deck did a, a giveaway back in, you know, what, 99, 2000 that um, they put a random card. I think they picked like eight, like rising stars, which I don't know why you would look at this card and be like, yeah, that's, we're doing this guy. But, uh, but yeah, no, it was a one of eight random giveaway and I had one and the moment I posted it, I get hit up by three people trying to buy it, which is oh, fine. Yeah. But, but uh, I'm going to, I know that I bought that damn top def, you know, magazine. I got this card. I'm keeping this. Heck this, yeah. You know, keeping them. I don't have any of those promos. So I think it's sweet that you have it. <laughs> yeah. It was like, it was just a weird, like at that point, like the one thing, again, this is like getting into like, you know, emotional attachment showdown level, but yeah, like any of the, I have cards that I know I had as a kid that like I just will never get rid of. Like I have a Barry Larkin 2001 that is in terrible condition, but I just like never will get rid of it just because I know that's a card I played sh a shit ton when I was little, you know? And like, I guess Joe Nathan, that card is like a little bit of that represented, like re representative to me. Oh yeah, I wrote on the back of all of my 2001 and 01 ones <laughs> that were like on my team. And I put like Peter Squad on the back. Dude, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. That's I Jim Tomei has a star and captain in all caps written yeah. on the back of him. Oh, yes. That means, dude, that means more than anything than any first edition, anything else. You know, that's everything. <laughs> exactly. So, I mean, it's like, I'm going to give that to my son one day. Oh, no, heck yeah. I don't yeah. think any oh. of my cards are PSA 10. I mean, every one of my cards is beat to shit. Yeah. And I, I had... I had framed all mine. Um, I had a, like a six poster boards, and they I had them all framed out the whole two thousand. So everyone had to have tape on the back so it would stick to the to the wall, <laughs> and then it, it always looks super cool, like rainbow of color across like six frames. But it was really cool at the time. But and then they got sun damage and stuff. I still love them. They they're beat to shit, but they, all my friends come and play with them. They drink spill shit on them i don't know <laughs> oh yeah like the first i think the first time i think we used like my 2019 cards and like again like there's not i mean there are sets right there's not many of them there's like they're actually pretty limited if you think about it yeah but like I, we did them for like a drinking tournament and like yeah people were spilling beer in them and i just kind of like the card collector aspect of me was like god what no shit but then like the other part of me was like fuck it man we're just having fun this is what yeah. it's, this is what it's about i get more mad when they spill on my mats i'm like stop spilling fucking drinks on my mats <laughs> <laughs> I, I think i've spilled beer on your mats oh my so. gosh <laughs> those things don't smell good anymore man you probably play some <laughs> it's an excuse to get more clutch cards yeah <laughs> I, I, i've talked to the clutch guys i'm like when you guys call it more mats i want to buy some more mats because i i actually like and they did some really good stuff with the opening day cards they had a bob feller opening day card look really sick and uh, i talked to some of the guys from clutch i really like what they do it just sucks they can't do photos because i and again and they use the 02 to 05 style but right. I like the way they market. I like their their designs. They do. Um, they have cool things with promo versions, and they do like things with Jackie Robinson and all sorts of uh, sorts of fun stuff. They have the stadiums. They, they do a really good job in general. It just I like my 00 to 01 showdown, and that's kind yeah, of I why I like it. <laughs> What's the pile of cards you've got over your shoulder? This is a uh, two uh, 2019. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, my whole desk is so. So, people listening, you guys can't see this, but uh, Peter can see it because I'm on the podcast. <laughs> but yeah, my whole desk is like either uh, is, is like Funko Pops. Here, I'll turn you over, Peter, so you can see it's like Funko no, Pops I... of like baseball people or a league of their own, whiskey, um, <laughs> and like little baseball figurines. And uh, in the the 2018 trophy that Dom didn't take. Yeah, he won, this, this is he the, never the show up. trophy. Well, we haven't really got back together either to like give it to him. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Um, but he wasn't there to win it, so that was yes, exactly kind so, of thing. But yeah, maybe my I whole desk is like it. littered with Showdown or uh, like Funko Pops because I love I love having like Funko Pops. Jeff got me this Babe Ruth Funko uh, Pop. Sweet. Yeah, so I like I love the Funkos. Um, I got I got some from Seattle and Cincinnati, and then I got um, League of Their Own ones. I like collecting them. Anything baseball related that I could showcase. So yeah, you have an you have an are those awesome, those uncut uh, sheets you were talking about or? Yeah, I finally got them hung up. 
They're all my uh, the Packers, the whole team oh, from wow. the ninety from Super Bowl two. Wow. And all signed. What? That's, That's sick. Incredible yeah, so stuff. Like, my dad and I, my dad won it in a like a raffle in Green Bay, and everyone was pissed because they were all like season ticket holders who bought hundreds uh, of tickets, and he bought one. Uh, <laughs> and that, like one lucky asshole who won it. And then uh, growing up, we like went to all the shows, and so like I met like. Willie Davis, Bart Starr, Zeke Rendowski, you know, like Ray Nitschke, all those guys, Willie Wood. And like, we just traveled around like every weekend finding these random Packers to sign them. That's sick. Awesome. So um, everyone, that is the Giants podcast. And that's um, a team, pretty, pretty stellar team in general. Um, if you guys have listened to this and uh, you want us to do another team, maybe maybe or maybe not the Yankees, uh, let us know. We can maybe do something. Um <laughs> But yeah, we're we're always looking for people to to tell us on 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 YouTube or or um, Facebook or Twitter or Discord. Um, people are always commenting. I, I love hearing the comments, especially positive, constructive comments. Uh, I really like the one guy that reached out about the question we had for the Pirates, and people do uh, to make funny comments on the YouTube channel. So yeah, love it. So, any closing words, anybody? Yeah, I'll do. I'm going to do a quick plug. So I started a just kind of as like a fun oh, little yeah. project I can do. I'm, I'm probably going to throw it to the reins to pretty much all of us at some point, but um, basically just really simple concept, just a Twitter of just one showdown card randomly being picked a day. And um, so, yeah, it's called showdown a day and uh, yeah, no, just it's, it's, it's actually, again, I've kind of been doing as a way to just to feed into our discord through some, you know, some, if then, then that kind of stuff, but it's been fun to learn too, but yeah, no, go follow. It's got a kind of a, kind of a quick little uh fun following i wasn't yeah really every once in a while I, I thought it was gonna be like kind of lame at first but then i'm like getting into it not into it <laughs> when like i'm like this card seems like a pretty decent value like that two ip pitcher i'm like it's actually not a bad two ip pitcher like i don't even think about and that's kind of how i see when i look at these cards sometimes like we just talked about the catcher i don't even remember that seeing that card so it's right, like okay right. it's kind of kickstarts the brain a little bit you know when you oh, see and, it so. and like the nostalgia from seeing wes helms as like a rookie because <laughs> he was on the brewers <laughs> And like he was like one of these shitty players who hit seventh in the MVP baseball 2003 game. And I remember he hit so well for me in that video game that I took a pen to my pennant run <laughs> West Helms and I changed him from a six to an eight on base. <laughs> <laughs> I think I tried to use it against my friends. I'm like, no, 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 like, no, he's an eight. He's he's that good in real life. And they're like, what stats are they to back that up? And I was like, just gut. Yeah, Dude, yeah, yeah. Peter, like that happening is just like a microcosm for like what we've been doing like yeah. you know what you've been doing for years like in this podcast alone we're like what the hell like ellis burks like should have been way better like that is like you were doing that as a kid and you know yes yeah, like, but with what's Helms, they were right they were right <laughs> and i was just like no i love him right yeah that, that one we didn't have the data but it's yeah. like but you know anyway yeah so it's 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 been really fun just because people are getting into it and like yeah. bob said like i'm trying to like i'm really just trying to keep really random and not question like oh not that guy or not this guy like just and uh it's gonna right now it's just been 2001 or 2000 2001 but i'm gonna sprinkle in some uh, some 2018, 2019, and some all decade 90s guys. So just kind of a random assortment, but they're all going to be in the, uh, the 2000 and 2001 style. So, oh, okay. and uh, what, Matt, your, your team yeah. you're doing. I was going to do that. I was going to piggyback off of Jeff. Um, so on mine, I'm doing a poll each day. Oh, yeah. For 20 days, and we're going to have a 5,000 point team. So we're on the, the fourth day right now, and we spent a lot of money already. <laughs> yeah, we did. But right now, everybody on for day four is really putting up Jim Tomei to save some money. So we're starting a number I, crunch. Well, I wouldn't have picked. Uh, well, let's let's end here before we get too off topic with Dwight Gooden. But um, <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for listening to the San Francisco Giants podcast, and stay tuned for the next one.